All right, you want to talk about a needle in a haystack, guys and gals. Take a look at this 1965 Imperial LeBaron limousine. Uh, now, for you folks that are into these, notice that I did not say Ghia. Uh, Ghia was the Italian company that built these from the late 50s up until 1965. This car, however, is an even more rare, uh, and I hope I'm saying this right, um, it's a Barreros built car. Now, a few things that, uh, that have led me to believe that that's the case with this car, and uh, if anybody listening has other information, please reach out to us. Uh, either message us through YouTube, or you can uh, find our uh, email and website at uniqueclassiccars.com. So, in 1965, uh, all the tooling for these cars was sold to a Spanish company called Barreros. They took the tooling and in 1966 built 10 limousines. This is one of those 10. And how we can tell that, there's a few different uh, telltale signs. First off, if you notice, the Chrysler guys out there are going to notice, this has got a 1966 grill. Um, also, when we get to the interior, you'll notice that uh, 1965 cars had a column shift. 64 and earlier uh, were push button. And so when Ghia was building their 65 models, those were actually 1964s with 65 grills and so on. This car is a 65 model with 66 trim. That is one way to tell on the Ghia versus Barrero's limos. One other very striking difference is the wheelbase. These cars, the Ghia built cars, had a 149 inch wheelbase. This car does have the 154 inch wheelbase, which is what the Barrero's cars had. This car also has rear facing jump seats. Again, the Ghia built cars had forward facing jump seats. So Chrysler had these uh, cars, or, the, or at least the base of them rather, were sedan bodies built on convertible frames. <clears throat> and Barreros built these 10 in 1966, and that was it. It was all over. Now, as we move, I'll start showing you a few other fun details about these cars. So, buckle up your seatbelt. This might take a while. <laughs> all right. We'll get you a look there. So the fun part of this car is we can talk about the condition, but we also have to talk about the story and the history as we've started out. Now, to us, we believe the front, uh, the driver compartment upholstery to us appears original yet. Again, you can look at the door panels as well. <clears throat> Dash again, as I mentioned, column shift here. Um, the radio does uh, work. Whoops, I left the key in the back. Sorry about that. I'll check that for you later. The power antenna, I'll, if you watch out the window here, power antenna does work. I'm not going to go all the way up with it, but you can see that it's working. <clears throat> this uh, naturally has front air conditioning and rear air uh, fan circulation as well. It's amazing to me, look at the thickness of the doors. <clears throat> Tempered glass. And here we are on the interior. As I mentioned, this car does have the rear facing jump seats. The 154 wheelbase. And she's in Good shape. Headliner's up and nice and tight. Of course, this car does have the glass divider window. And that does operate as well. In case you want to holler at the driver, you can. As you can see, that's working as it should. The upholstery's in good shape. There's your uh, switch gear for the 
windows and so on. And in the under the art breast is you've got the opportunity for uh, adjusting the rear radio that is mounted in the trunk. I'll show you that here in a little bit. There's the speaker grates. Here are the rear air vents that are controlled from the passenger side. I'll show you that here in a second. Again, under the passenger side armrest, you have your air conditioning controls for the rear, heater controls for the rear, and then of course your switch gear here as well. Jump seats fold up and latch into place as they should. Okay, let's take a look at some more fun stuff. <clears throat> go around and show you the other side here in a minute. The vinyl top is in good shape. No rips or tears. Just a stunning car with an amazing presence. And it's very straight. You look down the side there, check out the reflections and so on. Very nice clean car. We'll open the other door here so you can see from the other side. There you go. And again, you can see all the still pictures of this car on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com. All right, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna get the trunk open for you. All right, trunk's open. Nice and tidy in there. And again, there you can see the rear mounted stereo. There's your fan for the rear vents, as you can see right there. The jack and the handle, spare tires all in here. A Couple extra P, uh, foot pads there, I believe. A couple extra little parts. Very solid car. I'll show you under the trunk lid here too. There's no bubbles or anything like that on that deck lid. All right. I will pause it again and we'll get it fired up. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. All right, here we are back inside the car. And I told you earlier I'd show you the radio does work. The sound of the argument. There we go. All right, let's get her fired up here for you. All right, she's running. Step outside here and take a look. Door shuts nicely. Good body fitment. See down the side of the car here too again. Nice and straight which is hard to do on a car this long, so good to see that way. Under the hood, mostly stock. No custom modifications, really, to speak of. Uh, again, you can see the AC connected there. What looks to be the original pump, even. <laughs> Not completely highly detailed under the hood, as you can see, but everything is there. Again, you can take a look at all the pictures of this car on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com. This is a car that is nearly impossible to find, let alone to find one that is for sale. This car came in on trade to us, a gentleman that had it, uh, had it for quite some time and uh, decided it was time to get something new to play with. So now is your chance to get this extremely rare car without paying all the big auction fees right here at unique 
ClassicCars.com. Trade-ins are considered. Financing is available. And extended warranties are an option to take care of your purchase after the sale as well.